Baby, contigo me siento bien Qué feliz yo de ser tu mujer Me gusta esta versión Lo que yo soy con vos Yeah, solo necesita pa' tu amor A mi vida pusiste color I see a ghostly bell jingling ring Jingle, jingle, ring Hey Peach family, welcome back to our channel. So for today's video, I will be showing you guys how I achieved this makeup look. I definitely went with a very festive holiday makeup tutorial this time. And it is these Christmas lights on my eyelids, plus pairing up with the bright red lip shade. Before we continue with this video, please don't forget to share, like, and subscribe. If you guys are interested with how I achieve this makeup look, then just keep watching. All right, you guys, so I've already done my eyebrows off camera, um, just to kind of save some time. Um, so we're gonna get started to the actual cut crease. So since I do want a softer cut crease color up at the top, I am gonna go in with my Ace Beauty Bronze in Paradise palette. It is a bronzer, but I will go ahead and use this um, as my crease shade because I don't want anything too dark. I'm actually gonna go with the lighter shade right over here and I'm gonna go over it on the crease itself. I don't want too much of a color since the color, I want the focal point to be more on the actual Christmas lights and not anything else. So I'll be going in with this and just kind of winging it out since I do plan on this being a much more elongated cut crease. And just going to You guys want the colors to be pretty neutral up at the top um, because you want the lights to actually stand up. So I'm actually gonna start cutting out the crease and um, once again to cut my crease, I am using the Kat Von D, using the Kat Von D Locket Concealer. This is my go-to and it is pretty on the older side, but it has been like my favorite. So I'm literally going to Cut the crease and I want to do it into such a way that I get a good chunk of the crease so I'm using this concealer brush to kind of obviously I this bottom part is going to get cleaned up anyways but this is how the crease is looking like. Okay guys, so I look a little crazy by now, but trust the process, all this is gonna um, come together. So I'm gonna go in with a very light eyeshadow and I'm gonna use the shade Tempera or Tempera from the Soft Glam Palette and I'm basically going to set everything that I just applied. Once we've set that up, I'm gonna go in with an eyeliner and start drying out the wire. With this one, you guys have to be super careful. If you're not too familiar with a liquid eyeliner, you are more than welcome to do gel eyeliner. Personally, for me, I find it very hard to have control of a gel brush. Um, no matter what brush I use, I don't know what it is, so I don't really have any gel. I don't have actually gel liners in black. So um, I'm actually gonna go with the liquid liner. I feel like I have more control over a liquid liner than a gel. But you're just gonna go like literally outlining the crease. So 
Now we're gonna be doing the little stenders. You wanna alternate them, okay? So you guys don't want to do, have them be like right next to each other, like right like this, you wanna make, stagger them. Okay guys, Ooh. oh my goodness, this hat gave me so much anxiety. <laughs> so I'm done with the little things right now. It looks like a scarecrow, but just the process once again. So now I am gonna go in with like just a round brush and I'm gonna go in and start making the little bolitas. The, so to do the red bolitas, I'm gonna do this um, NARS, it's actually a lip palette. There's a bright red in this palette, so I'm gonna use that. Um, I've used it for my eyes before and nothing happened to me, so I should be fine. So I'm gonna get it in, a, it's a precision brush, so you can get like a small, like round pointed brush. And we're gonna just kinda dot it where I'm gonna make my red bolitas. I'm gonna do, this one can be red too. And you guys can feel free to like really get the color there. Okay. Um. Okay, so this is what they kind of look like. Oh, it looks so cute. And once again, I'm gonna go in with the other, at that other color. So. Now I'm gonna dip into the Take Me Back to Brazil palette and I will be using the greens to do my next color. So now I'm gonna go in with a different brush and doing the same thing, but now it's going to be blue. Guys, don't come at me for my facial expressions. <laughs> Alright guys, so this is what it's looking like right now. I'm gonna go in with these colored liners and I'm gonna go inside and kind of just dab them to kind of intensify and add more dimension to it. I'm gonna use this for the red since I don't have a red eyeliner. My eyeliner is not gonna wing out as how it usually does. I'm gonna try to keep it very close so I can let the focal point be more on the actual like the la uh, lucecita. After you are done with the liner, um. I'm gonna go in with a white, I'm gonna go in with the white eyeliner and I'm actually going to put like a little, like kind of like an oval inside the bolitas so it makes it look like they're actually ornaments.
Now that we are all done with the eyes, I'm gonna move on to the face. So once again, I'm going to prime my face with the Tatcha Liquid Silk Canvas Primer. kind of focusing around my nose guys because my nose has been super super dry I'm gonna go in with my foundation now and start Um, the foundation that I used was the Laura Mercier Flawless Lumiere Perfecting. Oh, flaw, the Laura Mercier Flawless Lumiere Radiance Perfecting Foundation. I'm gonna go in with my favorite concealer for the time being, and it is the Tarte Shape Tape in shade Light Sand. And now I'm gonna go in with the Airspun Loose Face Powder. I kind of focus more on the inner parts on my corner because I feel like that is where most of the concealer is at. After I'm done looking like I just hit the flower challenge, I'm gonna go in with the MAC Bronzer. Um, this one is another one that I've had for a while now. Um, and I wanna say it's like Golden Sun, but I'm not too sure because I no longer have the little sticker where it said the shade, but definitely MAC bronzers are so good and this is a nice like orangey tone to it. Um, as you guys can see, it's pretty warm, so I wanted to do something like that um, just to kind of warm up the face and I'm just going to bring it up over here. I don't really want to go in with a contour for this look. I want it to just kind of be very focal to the eyes. So if I were to do like a harsh contour today, I feel like it would take the attention away from the eyes. And I really want the eyes to be like the thing that makes it pop. After this, I'm gonna go ahead and just clean the powder. And then going back in with the face powder, I'm going to focus on the bottom half. Just kind of chisel that cheek. Usually if I'm wearing falsies or eyelashes, I'm not so big on like adding mascara because I feel like my lashes already blended with it. But because um, I've put a lot of concealer to come with crease and work around it. I'm going to just make sure that my eyelashes are coated and they're not like white from the concealer. After I do my 
bronzer. I'm gonna go in with the blush. Um, and once again, I'm gonna go in with a pretty neutral blush. So I'm gonna go in with this lighter shade in this palette. And this is a Tarte palette. Tarte blush palette. And I don't want anything too crazy. I just want to add a little bit of warmth. And the color. So you guys can see this is like what I'm kind of going for. We're gonna start working on the bottom lower lash line. So once again, going into this red shade on this palette, I'm going to put that in my lower lash line. I also wanna add some green to the bottom of my eyes. So I'm gonna go again with my green shadows. And to intensify it more, I'm going with the Kylie Cosmetics um, Shimmer Eye Glaze. And as you guys can see, it is completely empty. I have a little bit of product in there. And that is because Melanie went into this and destroyed this. So I'm gonna use whatever little product I have left. And I'm gonna also apply it in the bottom. This is the first and only thing she's been able to get her hands in. Um, this is the first and only thing she's been able to get her hands on and when I tell you guys that, that I am locking my makeup up, I'm doing it. So today I will be using Dodo Lashes and Style D4. This was given to me by um, Tia Vero. So if you're watching this, um, thank you so much for gifting these to me. I really couldn't wait to try them. So that is the reason why I am going to try them today. This is my first time trying Dodo lashes. I've had I've heard really good reviews about it, and I've been wanting to try them for the longest. I'm gonna go in with the Ace Beauty lip liner in shade So Gorgeous, and it's just a nice red. Now I'm gonna go in with the liquid, the Wet n Wild Liquid Katsu Lip Liner in shade Missy and Beard. To just top everything off, we are gonna be using the Morphe Times Jeffree Star Setting Spray, and I just love this. It smells like strawberry. Mmm. That was so good. All right, guys, so that is it for today's look. Um, it was definitely very holiday-inspired, um, and this is something that I live for. I am a very festive person, and I'm a very spirited person, so whenever there are holidays, I do like to get a little bit festive with the makeup, and this is my first time doing this. I've never done this before. I usually, for holiday looks, I usually go with, like, glitters and everything, so doing something that requires a little bit more of a position was really hard in the beginning but i think i got the hang of it i'm super excited with how it turned out and i just love it and i can't wait to be creating this look every year and within each year see my progress and then see how the different variations that i do to this look if you guys enjoyed this video please don't forget to give this a thumbs up 
share and comment down below to see what other makeup looks you would like to see on our channel and if you are new to our channel please 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 go ahead and subscribe and also turn on that notification bell that way you would be notified every time we post a new video we are so excited to have you guys on board and i do hope that you guys enjoyed today's makeup look it was something that i think is a little bit out of the box and i see these pictures all over instagram and in my mind i'm just like how do they do it but now i got a taste of how it's done give you guys a close-up all right guys that is it for today's video like we always say we'll see you guys on the next video see ya Thank you.